September has ended, so that means another monthly video, so let's start right away with the pieces sent in by viewers of the channel. First up is this great set of New Zealand MCUs, or multi-terrain camouflage uniform. These were one of the first originally adopted patterns by New Zealand, not including their World War II era painted ones, but were relatively short-lived due to a number of issues relating to the uniform's dyes, fading, and pattern overall. It's a rather interesting tale of which we'll certainly be taking a look at in due time. Special thanks to Ben Henderson, a coasty from Florida, for offering this set. Next up are a few unissued pieces, all out of Taiwan in the form of some army pixelated items, but most prevalently two generations of Marine Corps camouflage. One of their original Tiger Stripe variations that started being seen on a somewhat large scale during the 1980s, and the current digital one, which began issue in 2018. Side by side, you can notice the similarities between them as far as colors and general shape. It's an interesting look at the approach some countries take when updating their camouflages, and is certainly an interesting blend of old and new pattern and style-wise. Thank you very much to Ubertsen for reaching out about these pieces. Moving just a bit north of Taiwan is a set of South Korea's newest naval pattern. Close to two years old now, this pattern is interesting as most sets, this one included, appear to have almost a faded or worn look about them. Granted, most of the ones that have reached the collector's market are used, at first glance they all seem to appear faded or worn, However, many photos of naval personnel wearing them often have the same faded, or in other cases, blurry appearance. So either there's a bit of a manufacturing situation with them, or they are intentionally made that way to not appear as dark or crisp in color. We're moving west now to Pakistan, with these two interesting patterns. The left is used by the frontier core of the Balochistan region, which borders Iran and Afghanistan, while the pattern on the right is one that's frequently seen by Pakistani soldiers while serving as United Nations peacekeepers. Regardless of country, often official pieces will have some form of tag or identifier that frequently shows the manufacturer. This particular set has that, but also has all the info along the inside of the main button section, either on purpose, or they just had enough in the fabric bolt to get this one made. Either way, it's a neat addition. Moving even further west, we have three final pieces, all of which were picked up at the final Brimfield show of 2022. Those are a Portuguese DPM jacket, a pair of Dutch DPM trousers, and a second pattern West German border guard jacket. The Portuguese and Dutch pieces were sold together, and though neither are relatively rare, they were pretty cheap and are interesting to look at side by side. The second version of the BGS splinter jacket was being sold by a vintage clothing seller. The second version is denoted by lighter lines printed throughout, however, only really being seen over the tan areas, and the green and red shapes having little to no borders about them when they are up against one another. To contrast this, the first version saw a bit of spacing between the two colors, with the third having more stark and uniformly seen lines, easily noticeable over all three colors. Finally, the cut of the jacket wasn't really seen with the other two versions, being the one produced for the shortest amount of time. But that will pretty much do it for September 2022. Thank you again to those who offered up pieces. They are very much appreciated. We'll be back again soon for everything Source in October, so be sure to check that out. Until then, have a good one.